Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler on The Neighborhood, and I am aware I probably look like a dying shrimp. I'm currently at my cabin, and when I'm at my cabin, I usually don't put an effort into my appearance, so my apologies. But anyways, this week's theme is Embarrassment Week, if you didn't already know. So because I'm in the middle of nowhere and I can't really go out in public and embarrass myself, even though I would love to do that, I'm just going to be talking about embarrassing moments, so here we go advantage of that and got Hello. hi Alright, this story probably wouldn't be embarrassing if it happened to me sometime in high school, but me being a 7th grader, I was horrified. So we're in science class, the whole class is reading a page from this book to learn about life or something like that. And we were doing popcorn reading, I don't know if you guys do that, but it's like one person starts to read and they read like a sentence to a paragraph. And when they feel like they're done reading, they say popcorn and they say someone else's name. And so like if your friend's reading, they're probably going to say your name because they want to make you suffer and have to read. So of course my friend popcorns me and I was like okay okay I'm just gonna read like two sentences and I'll popcorn my other friend. So we're going through it and this is just I'm just gonna act out what happens because I don't even want to tell you guys. Life. Popcorn Tyler. Okay. An orgasm is when I'm sorry. But anyways, because I was a 7th grader, I was literally horrified. At first, everyone cracks up and I didn't realize why they were all laughing. So I just sat there like, did someone fart? And then I looked down and I see the word and I was like, oh, that's not the right word. And I look up at my sign, you're literally like, and she's like, it's okay, it happens all the time. And I was just like, I didn't even, I couldn't even speak, I was just like, Like, what, what did I just say? That was basically like, did I literally just do that? Was I that child? I was that child. Oh, oh. Alright, the next story was actually just like the last year, 8th grade. So our science class got a pizza party because we were the coolest of the cats. And we go up for lunch. I'm sitting with my friends. And the science teacher like starts passing out post-it notes. And he's like, everyone write down three YouTube videos you want to watch. And... I get really uncomfortable because I'm just hoping everyone around me doesn't remember that I do YouTube at that moment because if someone does, we're gonna have to watch one of my videos, I know it. And I'm just like sitting there like, okay, I'll, sh I'll just write down these songs, alright, just, just, just relax, just relax. And my friend next to me looks at me and she's like, and I'm like, don't. And she's like, let's watch Scootle Raps. Yeah, let's do it, let's, let's fucking watch my video, no. But she says it loud enough for literally the whole classroom to hear. And I don't know, half of those children wanted to watch it too. I don't know why you would want to watch those videos. So they all write scooter apps on their post-it notes. And I'm like, this is not happening. No, 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 no. So I run up, after he collects them all, I run up to the front of the room and I'm like looking through all of them with scooter apps and I like cross them all out and I throw the ones away. And I was like, okay, okay, we're done, we're done. I'm just like, you can't watch these, nope, nope. And he was like, okay. I thought it was all good right but no of course it wasn't all good because some little child had to hand him a post note that's in school wraps when i wasn't looking and he was like what's this and i was like don't do it and he like knows something's up he's like he like kind of knows that like this is me or this is like something i'm involved with and he was like okay okay and i was like please don't and he was like okay okay so i thought he was gonna like respect that but no the bell rings and i'm like okay he we're good we're good we're good and so i'm about to leave when i look on the huge projector screen and i see my treasure music video now don't even go try to look for this because it's privated by now like like that just horrified me. It was played in front of everyone in that classroom, but the bell had to ring, right? So a hundred kids leaving their class, coming up from lunch, had to be like, oh my gosh, what is this? And they come in the room and just like decide to watch it with us. Like, <laughs> what a great idea for a hundred kids to watch me sing. No. So I leave the classroom just like horrified for the rest of my life. And I'm pretty sure all the teachers after that knew I did YouTube, so that was just great. Alright, and the last story is from 6th grade. I had this math teacher who knew how to joke around and have fun and was just a great math teacher. But sometimes, me being me, I went too far with that. And I would get carried away and I would talk and talk and talk and 
laugh with my friends to the point where she had to take a desk for me and just like move it to the corner and be like, okay, this is your desk. I was like, okay, but me being in the corner away from everyone else, I got bored, right? So I had to like, yeah, this is just what happened. Okay, class, so today I'm gonna, I'm gonna be it's so bored. bored. Um, so basically, you like multiply x plus y, and then you would divide z, and yeah, you do all this. I'm just like, Tyler! What do you think you're doing? No, go back to your corner now! Go okay. back to your corner. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so disappointed in you. So after that, that was my first time ever being yelled at by a teacher, and I was just scared. I wanted to cry. I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was so scared. But after that, I kind of got used to it. Yeah, that's basically my embarrassing school stories. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope at some point you laughed at my suffering, because why wouldn't you, you know? But I am at my cottage, so I'm going to go enjoy that, and I I will see you guys next Sunday on The Neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. All my links will be below. To my hot bits.